Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So I'm coming at you today with a tutorial on how to make, how to easily make a really good looking Hollywood movie trailer via iMovie. So it's already built in. There's a bunch of tutorials out there already on YouTube, but I think they overcomplicate it. Uh, so I'm going to kind of walk you through the basic steps on creating your movie trailer. It's a 60 second trailer. Shouldn't take long as long as you, you have the images and video that you want to use. So let's jump into it. So here's one that I made recently uh, to announce to our friends that my wife and I are pregnant. And uh, you can see here I've added some video, I've added some some images as well as some uh, Ken Burns effects as far as that goes. But let me show you from the beginning how to do this. So what you're going to want to do when you open up iMovie is you're going to want to go to File and then go down to New Trailer. Click on New Trailer. And then once you do that, you're going to be you know, have all of these different options depending on what version of iMovie that you have will depend on which options you receive. So we have the blockbuster, we can go here, we can actually play that and see what it looks like. So there you go, you can preview all of these by clicking on the play button there. Let me mute this so it won't play the audio. And then you can go here and you can you can choose drama, you can choose documentary, you can choose fairy tale. Uh, all of these different formats here you can choose, okay? So we'll go ahead and let's choose a how about Let's do this one. Let's just do the fairy tale one. So you double click on the one that you want to use, and then once you do that, you title it whatever you want to title it and then go to okay. Once we've done that, it'll load all of the presets, and we have a few different options here. We have the outline, okay? This tells you basically you want to add a name and date, the name of the uh, trailer. The studio is really cool. You can add like your name there, like I did Porter Media, and then you can do like directed by, edited by, and anybody who helps you with the video and getting the footage, you can put their information here, so it makes them feel cool. And then here on the storyboard is the most important thing. This is where I think the other tutorials uh, got it a little wrong on YouTube. So these do matter so like the medium here and then where it says close up where it says two shot these do matter so it's not just telling you something the way they have the animation set for the video trailer itself these the text here really matters so for like medium you'll want to put like a full body shot or, or a shot of ha somebody's you know a person and then on a close-up you'll want to do a close-up of somebody then on the two shot here you're going to want to put multiple people in that shot and so on okay and then you can go up here and and you can add stuff so you can see here I'll go ahead and add this image here and then you can pull it down and then you can see uh, here that's kind of some text uh, there on that and then you can actually you can see here I can even I can even add this image here and I can just click and hold any of the image that I want and just drop it on down into that uh, image there so that's my dog there you can see uh, then once we have the image or video file in the uh, location you want now remember the 2.5 seconds 2.4 seconds that cannot be adjusted uh, the length of the trailer itself is going to always be that 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 way so you can adjust it or else it'll mess up the whole flow of the trailer itself so you do not uh, want to mess mess that up um, so anyways make sure you 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 decide the images you want to use and the video that you want to use so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at a few different options we can go here if the video has audio you can turn it on or off right there within that panel there and then you can even go here and click that the, the clip trimmer and you can actually go in and do some more fine tailed tuning as far as if it's a video on what you want so that's all done through the, the clip trimmer there and then you can actually go here and you can remove that so if you hit the little uh, arrow with a circle on it that will remove that image or file there uh, so let's go ahead and drag one back down here let's go ahead and, and double click on that to bring it down there and as you see there you can adjust it there you can even go and adjust the um, the trim there if you want to like I have already shown you so once we've done that uh, and we have what we want the audio is automatically going to be set to be whatever you know theme you set with your trailer okay and then like where it says action here you're going to want to have some movement you're going to want to have something uh, let's see here uh, this guy here would be good for that so click on action and then this little guy here would be good for action um, so that 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 guy would move there so anything with action you're going to want to put on the action shot anything with movement uh, that's going to be uh, what you want to do there on that shot so make sure that you're you're doing that there so once we have all of this done, and again, all of the, the transitions are going to be done depending on the theme that you have. So we can go through and actually edit all of this text. So the once upon a time, you can actually edit that 
and you can actually change it to uh, I don't know whatever you want to do in a land far away let's you can do that like that there and then change the text on all of these okay so if you actually go to this file here that I have already done um, you're actually going to see that I changed it to I changed my text to be you know the story of a boy or a girl coming into this world I changed all of that text I added these photos uh, I added some photos of my, myself and my wife in here like that uh, and then I went down here and at the end it says you know this coming year and then it has a close-up of the heartbeat there it's kind of an action shot uh, so I added all of that video there and it really made a really cool looking video that I could share with my friends and family uh, and it's a really nice way to create a professional looking movie trailer with not you know a lot of effort as long as you have the video clips as long as you have the images you're able to go in and and do that and again all you have to do is go up to file new trailer and then go ahead and choose which movie the you know movie theme you want to use whether it's superhero travel teen indie whatever choose that and then go ahead and start dragging your images and your videos into the timeline and boom you are good to go now let me tell you a few different things here uh, about finishing up now once you're done with it you're going to want to share that video maybe on youtube whatever but if you want to save that file and, and, and send it to your friends and family whatever go ahead and you want to share that as a file and then once you do that you're going to want to change that hd down here to 1080p 1920 by 1080 that's going to allow you to export it out in its best quality and then once you do that you're going to be set with a nice 1080p video at the highest quality quality possible so make sure you are doing that uh, so anyways guys this has just been a brief video tutorial on how to get you started how to start creating your awesome uh, good-looking Hollywood movie trailers 60 seconds here on iMovie uh, if you like this kind of content whether it be tutorials tech news and reviews gaming whatever it may be go ahead and hit that like button down below it does help me out subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time